A very good evening, everyone. So, how are you all doing this lovely evening? Let's just start with our presentation, right? So, I shared this Google Drive with you, and uh, as you can see, there is a My Details sheet, right? So, if you've downloaded it well enough, if not, let's see. So, let's come to My Details sheet. I'll tell you how exactly this helps you. In today's world, we have numerous passwords that we need to preserve, right? And of course, saving them all on the browser is a bit risky. It's not always us that accesses our laptop, right? We can hand it over to a friend, a family member, anyone. And if the passwords are saved there, he can access those specific accounts from our end. Instead of that, I'll give you another shortcut to just save those details. So, as you can see, this is the template that I've provided to you, right? How this works is, this is the online password sheet which I've prepared in the name of my details. What you can do is you can type your name, what type of password it is, the username, the password, and any remarks like the special codes or uh, security questions that are there for that specific site when you create it. So, for example, let's take another example, Aman. Or more recently, if I take my example, uh, you create your passwords for your parents as well, right? And of course, you as well as your parents need to remember it and it's a hard task to remember all of those passwords. So I created one for my mother. So I'll just say it, mommy. And I'll say I created it for LIC, right? Right, the username for the same was Tanisha123, okay? And at the same time, the password for that was people at the rate123. Okay, there were some remarks as well. Now I've saved these passwords and the entire list can be created this way. But this is saved on my desktop. If someone is accessing my desktop, he can find this file and he can access this Sure, Vinayak, I'll do that. Not a problem. Just give me a minute. There you go. All right. So the one accessing my system can also look at this file, right? So I need to do some security in order to protect this file. So there are two layers of security that I can build in. When I save this file, just watch carefully this step, right? Don't, don't note anything. I've provided you this template. Just see the concept and check as to how we can do it. You can easily reperform it whenever you want. So I go to file, I go to save as, right? And I select whatever folder I want to. So I name it as my details underscore one. And I go to tools. Do you see the tools bar here? I go to tools, I go to general options, and then I get this screen password to open, password to modify. So in password to open, I type India at the rate one, two, three, four. Okay. If you want someone, how this actually work is, password to open will require you to put in a password each time you open it. If you tick on read only, someone will be able to open the sheet even without accessing the password. Right, so this is not a good option to, uh, to put at least on this file. Maybe you can use the read-only file for some other thing which you don't want the user to edit, but of course see the details there, right? So password to open, I've put it as India at the rate one, two, three, four, and password to modify also, I've put it as India at the rate four, three, two, one. Okay, just the reverse. I create, okay. It will ask me to re-enter the password to open first, so India at the rate one, two, three, four. And password to modify India at the rate four, three, two, one. There you go. So I saved it as my details dot one. And now I have closed the file. All right. Now what happens if I open the file again? Open the file again. And now it asks me for the password. 
If I have the correct password, of course, it would let me through. But what if I type just XYZ? It's not allowing me to open. It doesn't even show the password to retry it. I have to close and then reopen the file to retry a password. Right? Canceling would also take me to the same option. So we'll close and shut it down. So without actually having the password, no one can. This one password is what you have to remember. And other than that, every other password you can just save in this sheet. And now, so I've input the password to open. It gives me the screen. Enter the password for write access or open read only. So if you want to open read only, you can just click and it will open a read only sheet. But let me just open because it's the admin who is actually accessing it. So I'll just enter India at the rate 4321 to open it here. So the only password that you need to remember is the password to this file. And remaining all of them, you can compile it here. Believe me, friends, I have more than 56 passwords to save. Some pertaining to me, some of my family members, and this particular tool comes in really handy. Now, let me ask you a question here. What if someone gains access to the password to open? He'll be able to, able to open it read-only file, right? And read-only file, of course, shows you these passwords. I'll give you a trick to hide this in entirety, right? Watch carefully. You see, people hash 221 is displayed here. And people hash 221 is also displayed here. Right? So people dash 221 is displayed here and people dash 221 is displayed here as well. Okay. So what happens now? I'll just click here. I'll go to formatting more number formats. Okay. And in the custom field here in the type option, I'll type three semicolons. Right? Three semicolons. When I press OK, it goes from here, but it is still displayed here. What is the difference? What is exactly this trick is doing to you is it's hiding the password from the first hand display and it's showing it in the formula bar above. Interesting. So I'll just show you this step again. You go here, you select more number formats in the formatting option. You go to custom and you type three semicolons, three semicolons. Okay. And it goes blank. So if someone even opens it read only from the first look of it, they'll not be able to see the passwords. Of course, if they scroll to the password column, they'll be able to see it here if they have that much ability to scroll down into your system. All right. So just share your views if there are any questions regarding the same or how did you find this trick to save entire set of your passwords in one go here. Thanks for watching guys. Check out the description for further details about our Facebook page, our website and don't forget to share this useful content with your friends and family. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel Uja Mascot Consultancy Hub. If you want to become the part of our WhatsApp group, please mail us on the email ID mentioned in the description. Thanks everyone. Until next time.